So this is the how-to video for creating Energy Acres podcast, The Deep Dive. I created a project in Notebook LM and I have four different files. I have a background on myself. I have some instructions I give all LLMs about the company. I have a couple one-pagers in here, material. You can see these are all marked down. And I have a document that I have a running context of the company, partnerships, uh, relationships, uh, new contacts, projects, etc. Values, mission, all the things. And I loaded all of that in and I clicked on this notebook guide. And if you have one generated, you can say load and it will load in that previous one. And you can see we have a nice summary here and that's based on everything that's in that document. So if I wanted to add more information here using minimize this, you add, I can upload other sources. And I mentioned I'd use Markdown, but PDFs, text, audio, video, you can upload it. You can also add links. You can add websites. It will consume that. You can have up to, looks like I have 50 in here. I don't know if everyone's going to have that limit, but now you can understand what and how to add your own notebook. And then from there, you can have conversations. Here's now I can click on any of these and this would do a follow up. Now, the interesting thing is you're creating data and in, in using information and it's also citing all of those sources. So if you had more in here, you could put all of that information. I mean, the use cases here are endless. If you, your brain isn't on fire, I, I, I can't help you. But if it is, hopefully this has turned it on. Okay, so the other thing I'm gonna show you is how I put together the video portion of the assembly of the Deep Dive podcast. And so I had material that I had previously gathered from slides. And so I just dropped these images into the import. So this is a whole video editing. We have multiple layers. You can see the notebook LM wave layer. That's the sound that's actually playing behind there. And then I drop this stuff in here and I use the transcription feature on here. This thing will auto transcribe and I generate those and that puts the words. And from there, I just move those around and that content, as you'll see, change throughout there I just kind everything to that content after certain pieces were, were put together. So I've, I found this uh, to be super useful in, uh, in bringing, bringing everything together with as few steps and as few applications as possible. So hopefully that made sense to you.